Yo, 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 guys. Welcome. My name's Dunzo Danino. This is my intro. Fuck this intro. It's GTA 3, the definitive edition. We're finally here. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Again, my name is Dumzo Danino. I make shorts and I do a lot of Let's Plays. Thank you for choosing me and watching me and my adventure. You don't give a fuck about this. There's a timestamp. Skip all this shit and get right into it. But for those who actually do care about what I have to say and for those that are on stream right now. Um, yeah, guys, GTA 3. Um, I told you guys I was going to do it and now I'm doing it. So this is literally the last part. Or the last chapter, quote unquote, for the de definitive edition series. I completed Vice City. I completed San Andreas. Now we're on Grand Theft Auto 3. This is part number one. Um, hey guys, I'm fucking excited. I, I was doing a little bit of uh, background and shit, so um, I am a little bit caught up to date. I am gonna have a nice handy map though for weapons and shit like that. You can call it cheating. I call it um, improvising. You know, don't work harder, work smarter type of deal. So it's no cheats, nothing like that. All legit. And you know me. I don't know where, I don't know if this is from GTA 3, but they say the Claude's name. So that's why I'm using it. You probably boost up Claude, this one. Claude, Claude, Claude. All right, get it. Claude, Claude. Yeah, I guess it'll boost up the Claude, Claude. Yeah, that's fine. Claude. Um. But yeah, guys. Fuck, dude. Um. Yeah. Welcome to the fucking stream. Welcome to the let's play. Comment, do whatever the fuck you want. I do not give a shit. Um, my, this is my canvas, but I also invite you guys to paint it as well. Um, yeah, guys, I don't got much to say. Let's get right into this shit. It is Thursday, and I'm going to fucking drink for you guys. Faded fucking Thursdays. Dumbzo Dino first. I'm off tomorrow. I don't give a fuck. I'm about to get, I'll say drunk, but I'm not going to get drunk. I'm going to have a good fucking time, though. GTA 3, Definitive Edition. Let's do it. Dumbzo Dino, we in this hoe. Let's get into it. And uh, to start off the mood, I'm going to shotgun this beer. You know me? Training my shotguns. Classic right here. Yup. Oh, I've actually always liked this song, I'm not gonna lie. Even the Liberty City Story ones. But I'm gonna let the, um, the intro play for you guys. One time and one time only. Save that one. That's it. I haven't even done my shotgun, bitch. GTA 3 Definitive Edition. Dumbzo Dino. Shotgunning for you hoes. Let's do it.
Yeah, that was terrible. <laughs> I just can't shotgun for shit. Uh, start. Fuck. <clears throat> Oh, fuck, man. Here we go again with the graphics. What I have it at last time? Try that. And I need... I don't need fidelity. I actually need performance. Boom. Lens flare on. Get the field on. Start. Yep. Ugh. <clears throat> <sighs> Love that bitch. Just small time. <clears throat> well, there goes that. Time to clean this fucking city is in shock today as the police and emergency services deal with the aftermath of a devastating attack on a police convoy this morning. As yet, no details have been released about the prisoners being transferred in the convoy, and no group has claimed responsibility. The convoy left police headquarters early this morning for a routine transfer of felons to Liberty Penitentiary. The attack took place on the Callahan Bridge, leaving few witnesses, and the bridge itself severely damaged. Some of the convicts are thought to have perished in the explosion that followed the initial attack. Revelations as to the professionalism of the attack struck police hours afterward, when identification of the missing felons were further hampered by an attack by computer hackers on police headquarter databases. With yes, the sir. With the tunnel project falling behind schedule, this disaster leaves Portland isolated from the rest of the city. Your dickhead. It's no problem to kill you. You're gonna be sorry. I mean, they could have updated the fucking volume, right? Or the audio. Aye, aye, get lost. Like, I'm saying the graphics look really good, but fuck, dude. It's just the coloring, man. You guys' contrast and shit's all fucked up. <clears throat> well, they blew up that fucking bridge. on the edge of the red light district where we can lay low but my hands are all messed up so you better drive brother oh. all right uh same controls right make sure yeah our theater killer yeah let me um yeah i know guys every time every fucking time it's the first part let me mess around with this shit. You're listening to head I don't want to like overdo the contrast either. Another set of yeah, like that. I guess I'll just play it by ear. I do remember <laughs> There we go. Oh see so yeah, you see it's up there. So I remember um this guy, he made like a guide of what you should do whenever you first start and boom. There's a gun right there and then there's a package right there. He lost one health, you fucking useless quad. Yeah, so each package is just gives him a thousand health. So.
Yes, there's a talk show. Thank God. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Is this that one show? The tight end zone? What are you talking about? Oh, no, this is Laszlo. What up? Hasta la verga! This is the place right here. Let's get off the street and find a change of clothes. When you're not on a mission, you can save your game here. So advance by six hours. The garage next door can store one vehicle when you save the game. All right, well, where are we going? I know this guy. He's connected. His name is Luigi. Me and him go back, so I can probably get you some work. Come on, let's head over here. God damn, what's up with the dialogue? Let me boost that up too. Sound effect. Dialogue. I don't know where he is. Do one on that. Uh, let me see if there's any guns I can pick up. Oh. On the Wade. There's fucking nothing. Literally fucking nothing. I mean, innings. Thanks to Fernando, uh, I'm still married. But on Wednesday afternoon, I meet Barbara at the motel by the terminal. See, the passion she's back. Phil's marriage is saved, and his kids will have a daddy to look up to. Call new begin. Uh, motherfucker, where am I going? I'm going the wrong fucking way. That's where I'm going. I'm trying to get a damn shotgun. New beginnings. We turn an ending into a new beginning. Mom, there's a package for you. But I didn't order anything. What's this? How sweet. <laughs> G Willikers, it's a puppy. G Willikers. And now you can ship one. Peace and chicken grease. Ora. Delivering little bundles of love in a box directly to your door. And who says that e-commerce isn't a brilliant idea? All right, speaking of brilliant, you're listening to Chatterbox with me, Laszlo. Let's go over here to the phones and see what's plaguing Liberty City. Oh, caller. It says oh, there's yeah. a shotgun wow, around here. I got through. But, uh, Bravo, I think your last few callers are a perfect example of manners. People are rude. And oh, there she that. is. Give me that bitch. Uh, is there any more? I'm exercise bar because I have to have breakfast or lunch. So I go up to pay and the lady's like $1.25. So I get out my checkbook, and this guy behind me is like, Oh, come on, lady, you don't have two dollars? And I said, as a matter of fact, I'm I sure. don't. I spent my last two dollars last night buying gas at these ridiculous gas prices. And besides, who are you anyway? Oh, man, I can relate to that bitch. I walk dirty shirt. On many levels. Well, you'll get no argument from me. I mean, I get every I don't like being hello. This is Luigi's Club. Let's Up go around close. the back and use the service door. Luigi's girls. Fuck his girls. <sighs> Wait here, man, while I go in and talk to Luigi. <sighs> that Luigi? Eight Ball's got some business upstairs. Or maybe you could do me a favor. One of my girls needs a ride, so grab a car and pick up Misty from the clinic, then bring her back here. Remember, no one messes with my girls. So keep your hands on the wheel. If you don't mess this up, maybe there'll be more work for you. Now get out maybe. of here. Maybe. Get out of here. Traditional Italian mobsters. Out of love. So there's nothing there. Give you respect. Okay. I'll drill your ass. Give you a good pitch. These kids that thought they were going to be millionaires must wear the suit with the information. I will. Nowhere. The dead end. Uncle Sam takes care of his boy. And the son. I'll drill your ass. More people would join the military. This would be a better country. Um, yeah, that's not going to happen. These kids don't respect veterans. Fox is not a sister. When I came back to the 
Bro, who the fuck keeps honking at me? I'm clearly not gonna move. Okay, so let me see. If I'm right there. Holy shit. Yeah, I shouldn't use that one. <clears throat> Alright, I'll just stick uh, with the map that I have. Well, thanks for the history lesson. Right, yeah, hey guys, I don't, I don't, for some Chatterbox. reason, oh my yeah. god. Yes, Look how is. fucking is close that is. Man, I don't, this it's one's not any better. Okay. Okay. Uh, I mean, I guess no, not really. This. I mean, this is a radio show. People usually tell us their name. My name is real unimportant. If you want to keep being a wise guy, you'll find out just how unimportant. Yeah, Laszlo, like, stop being a fucking wise guy. What a hoe. Why are you calling in today? Because I need some advice. And I ain't doing any of that shrink shit. Uh, if you swear again, we're gonna have to cut you off. Oh this is God. a family show. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm just a little unhappy. I've been agitated. Real angry. It's my mom. How does she know that I was uh, her red? What's up, Pope? Yeah, guys, from what I hear about this uh, mission in particular, or not the mission, but the game in particular, it's just a lot of nonsense. But to be fair, this was the first 3D GTA game, so a lot of trial and error. 1,500. Nice. First day on the job. All right, uh, let's continue on. Don't spank my bitch up. I spank all the hoes up. Luigi said to, to give you this, so here, here, take it. This new high on the street goes by the name of Spank. Some wise guy's been introducing this trash to my girls down Portland Harbor. Go and introduce a bat to his face. Then take his car, respray it. I want compensation for this insult. Okay. <clears throat> Hold on, let, let me see if this guy is the, the shoveler. Bang, yo, bang. Nah, he doesn't. Dude, okay, I fucking get it. Taking this car. What's the deal, yo? <sighs> you guys can deal with my car. Yes, I know. They go inside to buy a weapon. Yada yada yada. Out of stock. Out of stock. How the fuck are you gonna run a fucking gun shop and everything got a stock? What are you stupid? Alright, let's go. Alright, Liberty City, this is your talk radio show Chatterbox, where your opinion matters. Let's go to the phones. Hello, caller, you're So what, Laszlo's the only one that that uh, does the shows, huh? I really can't but yeah, this this game hey, takes place in the year 2001, so this is after Vice City and after uh, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Quite frankly, in the PS2 genre, this is the um, dude, that guy fucking jumped in front of me. What? <laughs> Guess shit never changes, but that guy lived. Alright, so this guy wants to fight, and all I'm gonna do is run over. Like, he killed himself! You know what I mean? Um, actually, I can't say that I do. Um, but, but if I did eat too much squirrel and put on a few extra pounds... Alright, my car's about to blow up.
Come on, Claude. I was just supposed to take it? That was it. I had the same fucking car. What difference does it make? Oh man. This game is broken. Yeah, it's always so hard to go from a really good game like San Andreas to like one of these. No offense. The game was definitely groundbreaking with graphics and what the PS2 was able to do. But shit, dude, when you get used to like graphics and shit like that, this game is just pretty shit. Oh my god, bro. Now I have a cop. To a thinner, happier you. I'm a marketing manager who lives in the suburbs and commutes to work on the highway. I live alone, so of course I needed a car that could seat 12 and is equipped to drive across the country, which just makes me feel better. The new my boxing monstrosity. Mine is bigger. Wow, so this is oh, a pain a spray. Uh, I love one thousand dollars. You're fucking box. tripping. Are, uh, taking your calls Got that right kind now. of money. Hello, caller. You are on the air. Hi, Lavo. Is that your real Stupid. name? Stupid. Uh huh. Of course, it's my real name. Are you Hungarian? No, I'm from upstate. Are you sure that's not a fake radio name like Andy or Bobo? I thought all those radio people had fake names. Do you have a question or you just want to sit here and talk all day about my name? No, that's it. Love the show, Laszlo. Or Mark. <laughs> or John. Or Bevan. Whatever your name is. All right, next caller. You're Even the callers are weird. What is on your mind? Heard of it. Fruit, fruit and vegetables. Albino carrot says they're known back home. Okay, look, here's the deal. This isn't gardening with Maurice. That's on later. No, he got taken off the air. He lied. I know he did. I've been trying to make a hybrid of a peach and a Pekingese midget fighting bitch. All right. Four grand. I mean, not bad. I don't have a fucking car. Take this car. It's still a little dark, even from my eyes. Both the brightness. Oh, I love this song. But, I don't want to get copyrighted. It's called Pogo the Monkey. Yeah, I've heard of that one. The shop teacher called me today, and Sam made a homemade banana cannon in shop class and was lobbing them across the street. At a oh, shit. Yeah, that was not the best idea. I made better decisions in my life. Right, because this show does. Ah, I love that button. You know, it's never a dull moment. Where are those guys? Why do they have bats? Love media. Bringing people and the finest in entertainment together. All right, hello, next caller. You're on Chatterbox. I want to talk about that bank stuff. People say it's bad for you. It's not bad for you at all. There's a lot of shit going on. Hello? Good to be you, Pansy. What's your question? Bank, 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 bank. What about it? I mean, that's not really a question. Questions usually... Where's the armor? Combo, what am I gonna do? Wait. Drive hey, Misty for I gotta me. talk to you. All right, Mick, yeah. I'll talk to you later. How you doing, kid? The Don's son, Joey Leone. He wants some action from his regular girl, Misty. Go pick her up at Hepburn Heights, but watch yourself. That's Diablo turf. Then run her over to his garage in Trenton and make it quick. Joey ain't the kind you keep waiting. Remember, this is your foot in the door. So keep your eyes on the road and off Misty. Okay. Okay. Hey. Where's the butt exploding? Give me that fucking van. Oh, no, there's a truck over there. I'll take it. Help navigating life's trouble spots. That's when I discovered Equinox. 
After the divorce and losing little Tommy, life was getting me down. I couldn't focus on anything. After trying Equinox, I've been employee of the month three times in a row. I used to bowl in conscious for hours at a time. Dude, this map is now fucking Equinox tiny, though, never need to, to be sleep. fair. Equinox is new from Saibatsu Pharmaceuticals. Ask your doctor about Equinox today. Equinox may cause nausea, loss of sleep, blurred vision, leakage, kidney problems, and beating right <coughs> Hurry the fuck up! There you go. You're welcome, regular level Luigi, now, huh? It's about time you got a driver we can trust. <laughs> Liberty City Survivor. This takes reality TV to a whole new level. We'll take 20 recently paroled guys, equip them with grenade launchers and flamethrowers, and let them hunt each other down. It's the reality show where you well, just at least I know nobody can drive in this action. fucking city. I was grabbing a sandwich at the Happy Blimp, and all of a sudden these guys crashed through the window and started shooting at each other. I was so excited, I didn't even notice I've been hit. After that, I was hooked on Liberty City Survivor. I watch it every day in the hospital. The what? game doesn't end until there's only one man. Selection has come home. Sponsored by Emmy. Alright, let's see who do I meet. Joey! Am I gonna get to play with you again again? I'll be with you in a minute, Spark Plug. Hey, I'm Joey. Luigi said you were reliable, so come back later. There might be some work for you. All right? <sighs> yeah, these missions are bland as fuck. Get the fuck out of my way. Uh, there's armor somewhere over here. I know it. I ain't stupid. I mean, I am a little, but... <laughs> Yeah, it literally was somewhere. Right? All right, another award-winning <clears throat> show on Chatterbox. Today we're talking about anything, it seems. If you have something to say about anything, call now. Hello, what call. What the me. fuck? No. Ah, uh, okay, just took my fucking... Whatever. All the it says that the fucking armor is somewhere around here. How'd you get tired already? You barely even fucking ran. Yeah, don't don't mind me, guys. There it is. Okay, but how the fuck? Oh my god, dude. Are you serious? Over the fence, genius. There you go. Oh no, that's a package. Where's the armor? Oh, it's right there. Motherfucker. But guess what? Claude's tired. Claude? Oh. I'm getting so fucking tired, you lazy ass. When when I was a naughty boy, I I I, I would get spanked. N nanny, nanny would spank me when I was naughty. And now now Freddy needs nanny because when Freddy's naughty. Who the fuck's Freddy? There's the armor. All right, not a bad start. Not a bad start at all. Freddy's been a very naughty boy. So and the fences that look like I could run him over, I how actually can't, and I want a I fucking bus. Nope, you're not gonna show me a bus and me not want one. I need a fucking bus. Claude? Claude? You need a fucking bus. Where's the bus? Give me a bus. Fuck you. Ah, come on, Claude. I know you can do this. You used to hurt on high. There you go. But I say you used to hurt on high school, so. Hurtling over them hoes. There you go. 
Give me a fucking bus. Bro, there's alarms to everything, man. There's a big rig, too. Can I... Okay, hold up, guys. <laughs> now I'm just having fun. Can I catch... Or can I get a big rig? And connect a fucking... Nah, they look... Those look a little big to me. Are realizing if you don't have the latest and greatest technological devices, you will fall behind. I didn't upgrade my personal organizer. No, nope. it doesn't later, fucking work in this game. Terminal illness. Damn it. Exactly why you should Holy shit. Knock that bitch into this different dimension. I got out of the car. Man. Hey, give me the bus. I prefer the bus. That my daughter's recitals and my son's little league games. Can I pick up a, ho a hooker on the bus? I can play wireless head-to-head -head 3D virtual reality polka literally anywhere. If it's a flash in the pan technology of absolutely no use to anyone, you can find it at House of Tomorrow. Remember, only technology makes life worth living. House of Tomorrow. We'll upgrade your system, then you can... Your life. Luigi's about to be like, where the fuck did you get that bus from? Fucking stole it. Where do you think I got it from? Revolutionary new way of saving your marriage. Fernando, welcome. The pleasure is mine, Lazlo. It is an honor to be here. I feel blessed. Uh, thanks. So, tell me about Fernando's new beginnings. Dude, why are you guys crossing the road and there's no crosswalk? Learn how to be a pedestrian. Chaos! Fucking chaos. Pump action pimp. <laughs> Some Diablo scumbag has been pimping his scuzzy bitches in my backyard. Go and take care of things for me. If you need a piece, go around back of ammunition opposite the subway. Okay. Ah, here we go. Now it's just not gonna be out of stock. <clears throat> fuck, that guy's not gonna expect a fucking bus. But I am not going to give you a big kiss. Not a kiss like I gave a woman or even a donkey. Because, because you do not know. Well, I mean, in this case, ignorance uh, kind of seems like bliss. I, I wasn't really up for kissing on air. Why not, Leslie? Am I not attractive? Am I not irresistible even to you? Well, no matter. Why are they talking about this? I mean, you yeah, that's what I thought, ho. You say you not want to Holy fuck! Easy! God damn, man. These fucking missions due to the AI are fucking easy. Look at this. Do, 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 do. Pistol is now in stock. Fuck you. Fuck him. Mind my own shit. Alright, Luigi. What else you got for me, bud? A man with knees. He needs a woman to tuck his babies into the bed. But for his bed, he needs something else. Oh, fuck. So he starts flirting with the secretary, takes her out for a drink, one thing leads to another, and before you know it, he's found all kinds of uses for the office furniture. Exactly, Lazlo. I know. Watch the coat, Trick. The fuzzball. Dude, I'm blasting right through these fucking missions. Damn, bro, you're fucking ugly, man. A policeman's ball is being held at the old school hall near the Callahan Bridge, and they'll be looking for some old school action. Now, I got girls all over town walking the street. Get them to the ball. They'll make a bundle. Get as many of them as you can before the cops drink away their green. Oh, shit. Uh, this is time mission. Um... But last look. What if you act under fantasy? It said at least four. Yes, my and what then, my friend? What then? Um, I get a sexual harassment suit. If you are lucky, my friend, 
but you I can probably carry all the hoes in this one. Room. Just the fuck? She hates you. Your British secretary, she wants you to be. Okay. So if I only need four, you okay. are a miracle. A thousand miracles roll into one. You save the marriage and you save the man. You don't put the marriage first, then you don't put the man first. Maybe you call it man. Then I think to myself, no, this is a bad name. It sounds really dumb. Then I think we call it Fernando's new Come on, bitch. Because that is Dude, I can probably pick up all of them here. So how does this work? It is a miracle, Laszlo. A miracle. A man is a good father, a loving husband, the winner of Should this be a hat, guys? A if you're doing this I mission, half day, I say um, now, make sure to get a bus and you can carry you fucking need. all the bitches you need. Hey, there's um, that bistro place that CJ shot up. What, with you? That kind of sounds like a limited mark. Last night, you are very All right, let's see. Let's see how many girls we can actually pick up. Oh, never mind. It's on fire. Mission failed. Fuck. I hope I can still keep the bus though. So the fuzzball, get yourself a fucking bus. Yeah, the bus is still here. Ooh, and it's a different color. Head radio. Weird name. What the fuck? It's on fire already. I'm dead. I need at least a fucking four door. Give me that van. Maybe they can jump in the back. Get in! I lost the bus. I open my eyes. See, Laszlo? You see? Alright, where do I go after this one? I can pick up those two. If you will, he has no end anymore. And his marriage? It is I mean, him. at least his van's faster, right? He's gone. Replaced by ugliness. Um. Hey, she's not a pretty lady. She's more like an offensive lion or a tight end. Big and hairy, but fertile. She gives Jerry five kids, but she's even bigger. Now she's like a whole on, fancy bitch. line. He feels no pride in himself. In the back. He has no pride in his marriage. He is ashamed of this wonderful lady who bears him so many young. And he comes to me and he cries, Fernando, save my marriage. I love my wife, even though she is a fat worker. And I say, Jerry, you are a man. It is a man's duty to love his wife, even if she is like a farmhouse. And now Jerry is safe. By sleeping with other women, whatever it takes to save. Um, yeah, so from there, we'll just go down over here. We're literally so, uh, just down the on street. Now. Hi, Laszlo. This is Janet. The show, and always wanted to call in. You really offended me today. Who is this gutter trash you got on the show? Hey, Janice, I share your anxiety. The studio kind of forced oh. you. Hey, you watch yourself, mister. And you, Janet. Why are you so ugly? Your husband, he don't make you happy? No, he's an idiot. Are you fucking yeah. serious? Well, he's probably a good daddy. How are you? you sound uh, very pretty. Angry. You're a fucking... This, I could hijack a bus over here, can I? This is the thing, I Fucking take a bus. The women, they think you beginning yeah, to right only there. for men. But no, it is for women. Fuck on my way, bitch. For Janice, if her husband goes to new beginning... Alrighty, hoes. We're taking a fucking bus. It's not all the hoes fit in here. Yeah, it's funny because the thing is, if you actually pass by a cop and the things are still flashing, you actually get a once level. I'm hot tonight. And you can't wash yourself, buddy. Because for my people, we take these initials very personal. Look at that. Then, you know That's all the hoes I need, but I'm going to pick up more. Who are your people anyway? I you never have enough hoes. Which exotic location do you come from? I am. Uh... I am Latin. And I have two Latin minutes left, so there, might as well We're utilize it. I do not need to listen to these insults. I have pride. I have a calling. Many are called, but few are chosen, my friend. 
and I was called and chosen to work a miracle. Oh my god, so, uh, dude. Where were you I literally from, was avoiding that fucking rap. Stay, okay? And well, I still got on it. I'm not real Latin, but I provide real Latin passion. I work the miracles every day. This is wives, children, if your husband, if your daddy, if he not happy, send it to me, Fernando. In exchange for a few hours a week, I give you the Dude, world. what's up with this traffic, man? Uh, yeah, there's. You can pick up another one up there. Get out of here! It's a miracle! Would you like a kitten? Have one delivered. Just log on. I fucking hate cats. That's just me, though. No offense to those who like them, but I fucking overnight. Petsovernight.com, delivering little bundles of love in a box directly to your door. And now it's time for a. Dude, how many fucking people can this bus fit? Hello, my name is Donald Glove. Hey, hey Donald Love. Enjoy. All right, we're back here on Chatterbox, the radio show that never gets old. I'm last. I go, bitch. Hello, you're on the air. What's your name? I wanted to talk about Spank. Oh God, not another one. I think Spank is the only way to teach them right from wrong. So you think that teaching kids at an early age that violence is the solution to problems will make them valuable members of our society? Well, another easy mission. Understand, Laszlo. My daddy used to whoop tar out of me. He once hit me so hard, my sleeve fell out of Fuck. my head. Didn't do me no harm. Look at me now. I'm the best pest control guy in East Portland. I've killed more rats, roaches, vermin than you can imagine, and I love it. This is such a great country. I wouldn't be where I am today if my daddy had me. That's six bitches. Fuck yeah. It should be mission pass, right? You fucking playing with me. Yeah, I'm gonna go take a cop car now. I don't wanna fucking bust anymore. Alright, now we can go do some missions for uh I don't I already forgot a thing. The cop car's pretty fast. They're already giving me fucking full missions? The crook. No, I did not want to do this. The name's Chunks, Marty Chunks. I run the bitch and dog food factory around the corner. I got money troubles, but hey, who doesn't, right? I'm meeting my bank manager later. He's a crooked bastard that keeps bumping up the loan repayment so he can cut a slice. Take my car, pick him up, and bring him back here. I got a little surprise for that blood sucking leech. Okay. Really don't want to do your missions, but okay. How do I get in there? I'm supposed to take the car. Three of us. It's hard organizing meetings without the phone, though. We've had to resort to carry. Oh, this car has some fucked up brakes. It has good steering, but just some fucked up brakes. I am not the problem. You are, and you're perpetuating the downfall of mankind. Liberty City was great before phones ruined everything. Liberty City was a church, a cow pasture, and three houses when the telephone was invented. Liar! You're the liar. Pants on fire. What are you? Are you, are you three years old? Lazo's a liar. Lazo's a liar. I bet that isn't even your real name. Shut up. You shut up. <laughs> Stupid. Nanny, nanny, boo boo. Stick your head in the Oh, Now we're going to commercials. Is your job affecting your health? Do you become fatigued? This oh, Mr. Chunk sent you, did he? Let's go and pay the better a visit. Solution. Sue your boss. See, the great thing about this country is you can sue anyone for pretty much anything, and you'll probably win. Please get a settlement. Walk on my way. We can show you how falling down and howling like 
assist you can result in a large damage award from your employer. We also specialize in awards for injuries suffered in auto, bus, and train accidents, and can even train you to throw yourself in front of a bus and pretend to be injured. Hey, that's why they pay for insurance. Call the law offices of Rakin and Ponter and get ready to enjoy a life of luxury. All right, we're back on Chatterbox. Let's uh, go to the chatter line here. Hello, caller. You're on Chatterbox. Laszlo, I just wanted to make your viewers aware that... Okay, now, this is a radio show. We don't have viewers. We have listeners. I good luck, pal. You're probably uh, going to okay. die. Anyway, Laszlo, I just wanted to make your viewers... But I'm getting paid for it, so it doesn't matter. Puppetry Festival is next month at the fairgrounds, bro. If you're interested in what becoming up? a puppet master... Or if you can't look me up! Oh, get the card of the crusher. Yeah, so it looks like they killed that guy. Guys with puppets get chicks. I take my monkey puppet to the park all the time. We play hacky sack together, it's rad. But anyway, dude, at the International Puppetry Festival, we'll be having workshops on finger puppets too. I love Petunia the Pinky, me Barry the Thumb. String puppets, club puppets, dude, it's gonna rock. <laughs> okay, thanks. Hope to see you there, Laszlo. Hey, by the way, can you give me that guy Fernando's number? Nah, I'm sorry. <laughs> Fernando, Fernando hasn't paid his bill to our ad sales department. But here's someone who has. And they paid his oh bill. my god, so dude. Gold, gold guineas. We'll be back after this. Do you live in the boring suburbs but dream of living in a lonely... Signals, guys. Turn signals. Fuck. Do you long to trade in your sweatsuit for a hundred pound suit of armor and swap your right. SUV for a noble stallion? Do you eat microwave dinners? the while wishing you were roasting a suckling pig at a pagan banquet is your next ideal home improvement a moat like this is what's pretty cool they actually put it in there and then they crush it Whatever, I don't care about those missions. Fuck. Take the damn van. Yeah, so if you park any car right there, it'll pick it up. Or a swimming pool. And learn how to rid your condo of vermin using a penny whistle and a mysterious prancing German named Hans. The Medieval Millennium Fair. Every weekend at Liberty City Park. Alright, Liberty City, you are listening to Chatterbox. Nice, that's that exactly what you're supposed to do. Reason that's the best pedestrian I've had so far in right, GTA. let's take a call. Who's on the line? Close. What about them? Close. Fuck. What are you talking about? Laszlo, close. Close. Close, Laszlo. Close. I mean, we're, all, we're all about opinions on Chatterbox, which is uh, Liberty City's premier voting station. But why don't you like close? No, I'm not doing that guy's missions anymore. I mean, there's a lot of there's one thing that I'm gonna do, though. I need to get that armor again. Dude, come on. Here you go, Pogo. Have a big watch. Rescue a cat out of that tree with your banana cannon, Pogo. Here you go, Pogo. Have a Fuck Pogo. Spring and Simeon game since bouncing bananas. Fuck on my way. Oh my God. There you go. Dude, he fucking dove towards the taxi. Come on. Mike Lips hey, last lunch. When you gonna drill me? In a moment, sweetheart. Whoa. I got a little business to take care of. I got a little job for you, pal. The Ferrelli brothers have owed me money for too long and they need to be taught some respect. Ferrelli. Lips Ferrelli is stuffing his fat face in the St. Mark's Bistro, so steal yeah, Those are the casino guys that we hit last time. bomb shop up in Harwood. You know <clears> 8-Ball, <throat> right? Once he's fitted it with a bomb, go park the car where you found it. Then sit back and watch the whole show. But hurry up, he won't be eating forever. Six minutes, huh? Let's do it. And proud of it. Lips 106. Hey, this weekend, if you want to dance your ass off, dude, you guys gotta stop fucking diving into the damn taxi, man. Not gonna give you guys a ride. 
There's an all-night jazz feast at Luigi's Bar, and that's also in the red light district. Lips 106. Oh, I can't listen. This was it. One member is now for the first time in 1977. Do it. Take this card. Oh. Also, what we're doing is we're probably gonna plant it with some bombs. That's it's about being one with the world. All right, dude. Groovy. Hug a rainbow. It's time for a public service announcement. Hello, I'm Donald Glove. Oh no! It's one of these missions. Uh, Newspapers, television, right. and radio stations across the U.S. You probably America. only give me enough Long time for one repair, anyways. So. And technology interests. We at Love Media ensure you get the truth behind the story. And I better not pay that a thousand dollar minimum. To dog food, from radio to pop music, you can be sure of independent, quality-led broadcasting every time you tune in. I saw how much money I had, bitch. Pop, they did take away that money. In the all right, don't and fuck up. Satellite in China is something all Americans can be proud of. Here at Love Media, we are proud of what we have done to help America and to help hard-working Americans relax. For investment opportunities or information about our new interactive television service, please go to www.lovemedia.tv. They want me to drive all civilized, but when was the last time that anybody has drive normal and uh, decreed? Look at this shit. How can you drive normal? Fucking shootouts and shit going on. Like, fuck, man. Oh, my God. I got a real simple solution. Shut them down. Shut down the schools. Shut down the problem. No more dead teachers. No more angry students. Well, but you don't think. No, I don't. Never. Now listen to me. Uh, uh, arm with the they left say, button. They complain a lot, but you know what? Cost even more. I can mean, shoes, books, toys, special tiny furniture, and that sort of crap. It's all about me. Alrighty. No shootouts. No crazy pedestrian drivers. Life's good. Alright. Looking good so far, guys. I think we're gonna beat it. You gotta arm the bomb, right? Get the fuck out of there. Take another one of their cars and fucking leave. They can keep my shitty ass taxi. Alright, is that far enough? Dude, am I really supposed to wait those two fucking minutes? Nah, I don't think so. I might, huh? Wow, that's a fucking bitch. What did the brief say? In a moment, no. Put the car back in the correct position. Active. Oh! Did I not put the car in the right position? What if I go back, get in the car, and I fucking blow myself up? Oh, there we go. Whatever. I can't be bothered to argue with you, but I do feel sorry for your little Johnny, the seven-year-old cook, chimney sweep, paralegal photocopier, because he's an idiot. Now, let's take a quick break. Phil and I just had another kid. Hey, they already replaced that car. Bigger SUV. Being a mom is hard. With soccer, football, and cross practice. Shit happens. Shit fucking happens. Bro, enough with the honking, man. Come here, fucking. Amphibious mode? It can cross rivers. So far, I've only hit a few puddles. But it's good to know it's there. With the time I save taking shortcuts... What did I even do? Wreck the striving. How was that a fucking... <laughs> ...an achievement? So what if it gets three miles to the gallon? I'm a mom, not a conservationist. The new my Boxu monstrosity. Mine's bigger. I need a new car. Farewell, chunky Lee Chong. 
Chunky Lee Chong is pushing spank for some new gang from Colombia or Colorado or something. I'm not really sure. Who needs details? Anyway, he's got a noodle stand down in Chinatown. That rat has sold his last stir fry. I want you to take him out. If you need a piece, go around back of ammunition opposite the subway. Sort yourself with a nine. You know where it is, right? Well, remember, just watch your back in Chinatown. It's triad territory. I have a fucking car, bitch. Or let me steal one. I'll take a van. <clears throat> Can't listen to that. Dude, this map is fucking tiny, man. I also like cab and cooking and bestiality, so the internet is really good for my hobbies. I think it's amazing. I Park right it. here. Uh, let me actually no. Let me get a little. Stop up for their fast cars. They earn them. The internet has changed my life. This is really going nowhere. Do you have anything interesting? Parking 101, guys. Oh, fuck, man. They ain't fucking around. Fuck, they actually knocked my ass down. Dude, they got me out of the fucking car. That's what I thought, bitch. We'll talk to this Jake guy again. Get some more fucking armor as well. Oh, fuck this. Whoa, 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 what are you talking about? I, I'm married. Uh, one of those convenience jobs to protect you, I bet. I know what you look like. You know more about men than I know about lesbian skin furniture. So, less of that clever stuff and give me some advice. I mean, come on, I got real problems. You see, okay, I had this boyfriend, and at first, he was real kind to me. He was a real j Damn it, there's no fucking armor. How do you know when a guy's serious? Dumzo, Danino, Raw, and Real Tape. So to all the females out there, you know a guy's serious when you continue to play hard to get and they're still there. And not only that, because right, we're gonna hit they're the probably still in the act. It leaves you to Chinatown every day. But bullets won't even dent the van's armor. Continue to they continue to um hit it hard. Want to talk to you? Security guards should continue to take it to the warehouse at the docks. My guys are gonna take over from there. And they start talking about things in the long term. So don't hang around. Start really canceling out all the other girls that are there. That's how you know when a guy is serious. Because by the time they get you, they'll realize that, hey, I've invested this much time and this much effort to a female. Of course, I'm going to take them serious. And not only that, but whenever you meet a true, real man, you will realize that these dudes literally have no time for anything else. All they do is work, come home, eat, probably go to the gym. They do nothing much more. How the why the fuck would they invest their time into a chick that they didn't like if they don't have time in general? Wait, what am I supposed to do? That's just my take though. I understand that it sounds like a great rally, but we're not a political station, and you haven't really told us why people should do this. Why 
is it about? Look, look, you want to help or not? I don't know what I'm helping. You're helping hey, a better. Hey, what kind of thing are you? In the round. You don't know what it's for, do you? It's for hope. Please come, everybody. You'll be real Damn, I wasted all my machine gun bullets. Power, brother. Say later on in the show, if you're into uh, health foods or martial arts, we'll have a special guest just for you. This guy's really special. Kind of like a romantic cruise, but he can't walk on water. All right, let's go to the phones. Hello, caller. You're on Chatterbox. Oh, oh fuck. They flipped the bitch. Wow. I can't believe it. You have a question. Dude, I call every day and I never get through. Amazing. <laughs> you do a great show, man. Thanks. What's, uh... What, 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 uh what? Oh, man. Fuck. I'm serious. Really great. You're, like, a total inspiration. And exactly what have I inspired you about? Well, okay. Right now, I live at home. Dude, now I got two stars. Like, Dude, not good. Uh, and my car just fucking go. got on fire, and I'm gonna die. I did. Ah, oh, you bitch. It's all good though. Well, at least now I know what to do. Um. Realistically, I should get a fucking bus. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. Let's get a bus. And then let's fucking hit that armored vehicle head on. In the past, there's been some criticism about our workers. That's why I'm here at one of the Aeros factories so you can meet some of them. Excuse me, sir. Do you enjoy your job here? It's fun. Alrighty. Yesterday, I made a dollar. See, that's the kind of dedication we have to our employees. Oh my god, bitch. Our shoes. Eris running I didn't shoes. stop doing Eris that. Running from something. Buying a gift for the guy that has everything? Log on to PetsOvernight.com. We've got exotic pets galore, including tigers, cobras, manatees, right, there's and that white rhinos. All delivered overnight. What I gotta do delivering little bundles of love in a box directly to your is door. hit that motherfucker at right, now joining speed. us in the studio we have a very special guest his new book karate and digestion is one of the top 100 self-help books for the past three weeks he is the founder of now and zen dojo and organic oh yeah his name is reed tucker welcome to chatterbox why thank you that though it certainly is an honor to be here today you so look at reed, that it's already a half damage combining martial arts and organic food i mean have it's kind of like putting ice cream on pizza. Both are great, but they really shouldn't be put together. Okay, that though. Actually, it is nothing like ice cream pizza. Ice cream is milk-based, as we all know, and I am lactose intolerant. And pizza, as you may know as well, is a sandwich derivative of Italian origin. Martial arts are about discipline and physical empowerment, not martial arts. Now I can take it, right? That's what I'm supposed to do? And not die? Take the bat to the lockup, what the fuck? So those fucking grandpas were listening to rap and shit. I had the power of nine men after morning meditation and a three bean salad. I could chop a butt in half. Sometimes. <laughs> no offense, but you're kind of a scrawny, pasty dude. It says on the inside cover of your book that you still live in your parents' basement. Okay, it's it, it not a basement. I prefer a center for spiritual life. In chapter 17 of my book, which I know you read, I address the dangers of cynicism. That low, closed mind is like a closed fist. Dude, why'd I go over the fucking brick wall when the door was open right there? I'm an idiot. So I really don't enjoy chewing damn Wow, I lost all the fucking cops. Shouting, Okay, that. <laughs> yes, Claude, I get it. You're tired. 20 grand? Oh my god. Oh, what the fuck? Fuck El Burro. Alright, 
Alright, let's go back to the J. Mr. G, Mr. C to the J. Yeah, no, Tony, I've tuned her real sweet. She purrs, you know what I mean? Oh, here's the guy I was telling you about. Alright, listen, this guy, he ain't Italian and he's no mechanic, but he could get things fixed. This is Pop's Capo, Tony Cipriani. Hey, I'm Tony Cipriani. Take him to Mama's restaurant in St. Mark's, all right? Now listen to me. I'm planning a job that needs a good driver, so drop by sometime later, okay? Okay. 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 Take to the laundry in Chinatown first. I got a bit of business to take care of. Those washerwomen ain't been paying their protection money. And watch the car. Joey just fixed this junk heap. So no fancy crap, okay? You look too hot. All right. Meditation and six hours of yoga. Next, I go open up my shop now and then and drink two pints of hand pressed potato juice. And who wants a steak after that? Okay, next caller, you are on Chatterbox with Reed Tucker. Bruh. Yo, Reed, come to the movie to How can I learn to beat up ten guys at once? Okay, first things first, my man. You need to stop the negative thinking. And the best attack I've found is to just run away. That way, you can still fear in your Wait here. Keep the engine running. This ain't a social call. Shut the fuck up! Actually, I do cover this early on in the book in chapter 45. It's called Stir Fry Your Prejudice. You see, I once thought like you before my master <sighs> took me under his wing and taught me the joy. Oh, guys, and by the way, oh shit! Concentration shit popped off. It's a tired ass ambush. Get us out of here, kid. Um, yeah, guys. So by the way, the reason why I'm wearing a uh, Mexico jersey is because. The boy Brandon Moreno, UFC flyweight uh, interim champion, fights tomorrow versus the quadrilogy against Davidson Figueredo. Their first fight, it was a draw. Second fight, um, Brandon Moreno submitted Biggie. And then the third fight, which I personally went to and got Brandon Moreno's signature, um, Biggie beat Brandon Moreno be a close decision so they're fighting against tomorrow or not tomorrow they're fighting on Saturday but I had my rear naked takes show so uh yeah listen karate kid the death gets still in one piece thanks for coming on the show okay holy fuck guys I am gonna be completely honest this game is fucking boring as fuck but i started it and i have to finish it the uzi is now in stock fuck the uzi fuck grand theft auto 3 this game is boring as shit but i'm still gonna beat it and fuck the rest of the stream i'm tired i need to go to bed <laughs> excuse me but yeah guys so far i now i remember why uh this game was so hard for me to play was because i actually started playing this game once gta san andreas was already out so san andreas by city and then this game it's kind of hard to go back it's rough like the graphics are good everything looks sharp but it's just like the gameplay and the pace of it, it's just overall the missions are short there's no dialogue obviously claude has no fucking character he's a fucking mute and just everything's so quick so i mean I don't foresee myself lasting too long in this game. I should be I should beat it within the next three to four parts, maybe five max. But it's boring. It is boring. I don't know what else I could say, but but I keep saying but I'm going to beat this game for you guys. Don't sweat it. Don't worry. I'm going to beat it. Damso Danino, if you're on Twitch, head over to YouTube, do your thing. You're on YouTube. Go to Twitch. Do your thing. I'll see you guys in the next part. Dumzo Danino, thank you for tuning in. Signing out. Catch you guys on the next one.